Here are the top five things that break vSphere high availability and how to avoid them. Number one, DNS issues. If ESXi hosts can't resolve each other, then high availability cannot function. So we always want to test DNS and always test forward and reverse lookups. Number two, all paths down and permanent device loss conditions. These are storage failures and storage network failures. So when storage paths fail or permanently go offline, virtual machines become unresponsive and the behavior of high availability changes along with it. Number three, misconfigured heartbeat data stores. Data store heartbeats not being configured correctly is a big problem. If high availability cannot use at least two data stores, that can create problems with high availability and specifically problems with host isolation detection. Number four, split brain scenarios. This happens when hosts lose network connectivity, but they still see storage. And the best way to avoid these kinds of problems is to design redundant networks. Number five, inconsistent host networking. If one host has different VM kernel port settings, that may cause high availability to fail. And so ideally, you want to make sure that you have a, a very strong and standardized configuration for the management VM kernel port of all of your ESXi hosts. And if you want to learn more, or if you're preparing for the VMware VCTA exam, my vSphere 8 course is now available on Udemy. You can find a link to it in the description.